Hey folks, Jonathan Bennett here once again to talk finally about MeshTastic on native Linux. Or really, we should say MeshTastic-D. The MeshTastic program is the Python command line interface. MeshTastic-D is the regular MeshTastic firmware, but compiled to run as an application on Linux. If you want to follow along, we have some great new documentation in the MeshTastic docs with native Linux now listed under the hardware devices there. Mishtastic D has existed for quite some time, but it has been limited to running simulated hardware only. What we've been working on in the last few months is building out the Portduino library to support more and more real hardware. So let's talk about the Raspberry Pi, which is the most supported platform. We support several LoRa hats, giving MeshTastic D the capability of participating in real MeshTastic networks. There is support for displays and some sensors. We also have GPS support, a really nifty keyboard capture mode, and most recently, the ability to serve the web interface. So let's take a look at how to get started. For this demo, I'm going to be working from a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, running Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit, the Debian Bookworm Edition. For hardware, we need a radio hat that exposes the SPI interface. Waveshare, for example, makes several LoRa hats we do not and cannot support the UART hat. For today's demo, we are using the Waveshare SX1262XXXM LoRaWAN GNSS hat. Look, I didn't name it, the link will be in the description. The hat just pops on top of the Pi as such. As always with these radios, don't power it on without the antenna connected. That is it for hardware install, now on to software. First up, we need SPI enabled, and we have to tell the Pi that it is not to handle the chip select line. And that part is actually pretty easy, it just needs a couple of lines in config.txt, which you will generally find in slash boot. It may be at slash boot slash firmware on some devices. We want to add dt param equals spi equals on and dt overlay equals spi 0 0 cs. If your hat has GPS, you'll also want to include the enable underscore uart equals one line to enable the, G the serial port for GPS. Reboot and look for the slash dev slash spi dev 0, .0 device and optionally dev slash ttys0 for the GPS. Next, we need a deb package. github.com slash mestastic slash firmware slash releases is the place to look. Pick your version and look for the Debian package down under assets. I like to grab the URL and just use wget to do the actual download. Next, we will use sudo and tell apt that we want to install this package. sudo apt install dot slash mestastic d asterisk. It should put in all the dependencies as needed. Once installed, use sudo and your favorite text editor to edit the slash etc slash mestastic d slash config dot yaml file. Here we tell the program about our specific hardware. Yaml, by the way, that's yet another markup language, is white space sensitive. Don't go erasing the extra spacing. So the Waveshare hat that we're using corresponds to the top entry here, so we can just remove the hashtags to uncomment these lines. If we have GPS, we can uncomment the serial path line. The log level line defines how chatty MeshTastic D should be. You may need to switch this to debug to troubleshoot a problem, and you might want to change it back to warn for actual use. And in recent versions, we do have the web server working. You can just uncomment the two lines here to enable it. And lastly, here you can customize the side of the NodeDB database stored inside MeshTastic-D. This is a really new feature, but I've tested it up to a size of 1,000, and it's really useful for connecting to the fire hose that is the MQTT server. So, save this config file. This particular release needs libulpheus 2.7 manually installed to make the web server work. I anticipate that getting streamlined and automatically included maybe for a re-release of this.deb or definitely for the next version. 
And now we just need to enable and start the process. sudo systemctl enable meshtasticd dash dash now. And you may find journalctl dash u meshtasticd dash f quite useful to keep track of what the program is doing. From here, you can use the Python command line, the Android client over TCP, or even a web browser to configure your meshtastic Pi node. For the web, we use https colon slash slash and then the IP address or the host name of the Pi, and from there just continue as normal. And that's it, you've got MeshTastic running on native Linux. There are a few more tricks up MeshTastic Deep sleeves, and we'll come back next time to look closer at how to build and configure a Pi 400 based MeshTastic cyber deck like this one. Don't forget to do the YouTube things like liking the video and subscribing to the channel. And if I've personally earned a tip, you can support my caffeine habit at buymeacoffee.com slash jbennett. And until next time, happy meshing.